so good evening guys uh, today we shall look about the second division of the trigeminal now right so we are going to talk about this now the v2 branch maxillary now right so today we are going to look about the maxillary now what are its branches and what does it supply right okay now moving here as i said your maxillary nerve once it enters the cavernous sinus it does not go through like your ophthalmic nerve it goes down and enters this foramen this is your foramen rotunda right so before entering here what happens it gives off a branch here what is this branch as i said you have your periosteal layer you have your meningeal layer you have your cavernous sinus in between those two layers right so i call this branch as the meningeal branch right so i call this branch as my br meningeal branch okay now your uh, maxillary nerve you know it enters and uh, it goes and you have some fossa here if you are uh, look at my facial nerve video you will be very familiar with this fossa right this is my pterygo palatine fossa and you have your ganglion here it is your pterygo palatine ganglion right so you have a pterygo palatine fossa you have your pterygo palatine ganglion okay now if you look here this maxillary nerve it goes it enters the pterygo palatine fossa and it passes through it and before passing it gives off some branches to the ganglion it gives some ganglionic branches okay now if you look here it passes and it mainly divides into three important structures okay so your maxillary nerve enters your foramen rotundum it passes the pterygo palatine fossa and gives off very important three branches here what is this is your zygomatic branch zygomatic this is my infraorbital branch and this is my posterior superior alveolar branch fine so i have my zygomatic branch i have my infraorbital branch i have my posterior superior alveolar branch okay your zygomatic nerve and your infraorbital nerve they enter through this fissure if you can remember here your ophthalmic nerve it enters your supraorbital fissure i call this fissure as infraorbital fissure fine so once this nerve enters this zygomatic nerve it splits into two zygomatico facial and zygomatico temporal as the name implies zygomatico temporal is going to supply my temple and zygomatico facial along your cheek areas and this infraorbital nerve if you see it runs along the floor of the orbit right so it runs along the floor of the orbit and then what happens it enters through a foramen right here i call this foramen as infraorbital foramen right so this infraorbital nerve it enters through the infraorbital foramen and what it does is it gives off some branches one it goes to my inferior palfibre right and another branch it supplies to my nasal right so inferior palfibral nasal branch and one to my upper lips superior labial branch right so basically my infraorbital nerve it enters the infraorbital fissure it runs along the floor of the orbit it enters the infraorbital foramen and it supplies the inferior palfibrae inferior palfibral branch nasal branch and superior labial branch fine okay now your posterior superior alveolar nerve block you know it supplies your molars except your mesiobuccal root of your first molar and if you look at this infraorbital nerve on the way passing it gives off two more branches it gives off two more branches right so since this is posterior superior alveolar and this is anterior superior alveolar i i call this as middle superior alveolar so my middle superior alveolar supplies your premolars and the mesiobuccal root of the first molar and anterior superior alveolar nerve block it supplies my anteriors 
right okay now as i said your uh, maxillary nerve it gives off some ganglionic branches isn't it so if you look here this in this ganglionic branch if you see one branch one branch it runs all the way down here this is my nasopharynx right one branch runs all the way down here and this is my nasopharynx right so i call this branch as nasopharyngeal branch right so what does it supply if you remember you have some tube here what is this tube this is my pharyngeal tympanic tube and you have some lymphoid tissues your tubal tonsils right so my nasopharyngeal branch is going to supply my nasopharynx your uh, pharyngeal tympanic tube and your and a few aspects of your tubal tonsils right okay another branch if you see from the ganglion it runs it goes and it supplies my soft palate what is this this is my lesser petrosal nerve lesser palatine nerve right so as it supplies the palate especially the soft palate i call it as lesser palatine nerve right not petrosal okay and whenever i say lesser palatine nerve it should definitely be accompanied by greater palatine nerve right so another nerve it runs along with your lesser palatine nerve and it goes and supplies my posterior palate i call it as greater palatine no it supplies my posterior aspect of my heart palate your lesser palatine nerve supplies your soft palate your greater palatine nerve supplies the posterior aspect of your heart palate okay now if you can see here one more branch from the ganglion one more branch from this ganglion it goes and it supplies the touch point temperature to my eyes i call this as orbital branch right so you have your orbital branch and one more branch is left in the maxillary so if you look here it passes through your maxillary nerve passes through the pterygopalatine and one one branch it passes further right and it enters a fossa here right this branch is your posterior nasal branch so your posterior nasal branch it enters my incisive fossa fine so this is my incisive fossa and this supplies my anterior aspect of my heart palate right so what is this nerve this is my nasopalatine nerve right so <clears throat> Uh, if you look at the maxillary nerve, just summing it up, it is a second uh, division of your trigeminal nerve. It enters my cavernous sinus and it passes through the foramen rotundum. And if you look here, you have some fossa, your pterygopalatine fossa, and it passes off the pterygopalatine fossa. While passing, it gives some ganglionic branches. And main branches of your maxillary nerve, if you see, you have zygomatic, you have your infraorbital, and you have your posterior superior alveolar. So your zygomatic and your infraorbital it enters the infraorbital fissure. and your zygomatic is divided into zygomatico temporal zygomatico facial and your infraorbital runs along the floor of the orbit it goes and enters the infraorbital canal uh, and it supplies your inferior palpebral your infraorbital fissure uh, uh, sorry infi your inferior palpebral and your nasal branch and your superior labial branch right okay if you look at your um, posterior superior it supplies my molars except my mesial buccal root of the first molar and if you look at the orbital branch it also gives off your middle superior alveolar and your anterior superior alveolar middle superior alveolar supplies my premolars and your mesial buccal root and anterior superior alveolar supplies my anteriors okay and one more branch your posterior nasal branch runs and enters my incisive can incisive fossa and it supplies my heart anterior aspect of the heart palate i call it as nasopalatine nerves okay and ganglionic branches basically if you look at here you know you have your uh, orbital branch your lesser palatine nerve which supplies your soft palate your greater palatine nerve which supplies my heart palate and you have your nasopharyngeal branch which supplies my nasopharynx and your pharyngeal tympanic tube and your tubal tonsils fine so this sums up the maxillary nerve and in the next part we will look about the mandibular nerve and uh, thank you for watching this video guys hope it was helpful and uh, please share with your friends